He's a very animated comic, very physical. Be, 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 be. That's what I like to hear, man, because I've never checked out anything from Lee Evans before. This right here was the first time. Talking about the wife, Lee Evans. Let's get it. Let's go. I know these things. I know these things because I've been married for uh, this year, 30 years. Uh, 30 years this year. Where's that accent from? 30 years. 30 years. Yeah. Hold on, wait. Married for 30 I years? I know these things. I know these things because I've been married for uh, this year, 30 years. Uh, 30 years this year. Damn. Yeah. We've been married for so long, things are changing. I don't like shopping with my wife. She's changed. She scares me. My wife is normally a law-abiding person. That is until we get in the shopping centre. We'll be standing in the food court holding a couple of trays of our dinner on after just paying for it, and she'll turn to me and she'll go, she hasn't charged us for the teas. <laughs> <laughs> you are lying. Hey, yo, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Just for the teas. Oh, shit. You are love. She hasn't charged us for the teas. Save your money, well, that's bro. Right. I just uh, don't you fucking dare. <laughs> Never on the run. I'm shitting myself. We're like fucking Bonnie and Clyde. <laughs> I'm eating dinner like a fugitive. Are they coming? Are we in trouble? Are we fucked? My wife's all calm and calculated. Easy, easy. <laughs> I'm shitting me pants. I can't stand this. A life on the run. I can't stand it anymore. She's got me by the cheeks. Oi. You drunk the tea, you slag. <laughs> You're in. Okay. I didn't know my wife was such a criminal. Have you ever stayed in a hotel a with your wife? Fucking hell, she becomes like a burglar overnight. No. She turns into one of those bank robbers you see in the films. We'd be leaving the room and suddenly she starts scooping all the toiletries into a fucking handbag. Go, 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 go. <laughs> I'm standing there. What are you doing? We're here for another fucking two weeks. Oh, shit. What is she going to do with all these miniature bottles of shit anyway? Right, She'll be the up in the pub stuff. the next day. Psst. Do you want to buy a shower cap? <laughs> do you want to buy a feminine hygiene bag? <laughs> How many you got? One. I love that. You know when your wife's on the phone and she makes all those faces to you, but to what she's hearing. Hold on, that was that was a weird cut. Is this like a compilation? Uh, I'm in your car. One. I love. Oh, it's two different, two different sets. Okay, that. You know okay, when okay. your wife's on the phone and she makes all those faces to you, but to what she's hearing on the phone, she go like, no. You know, they suck you in, you go out, like, what, what, what? And then she goes, oh, fuck off, I'm on the phone. <laughs> Yo, that's so grimy, son. That is so grimy, bro. <laughs> fuck off, I'm on the phone. Oh, yeah, because your wife is an incredible psychic when she's on the phone. Your wife ever done that? Come off the phone to one of her mates and she's gone, Isn't that amazing? I was just thinking about her and she called. <laughs> <laughs> so what about when you are thinking about her and she don't call? Is that, like, really fucking weird as well? <laughs> you say to your wife, Who are you thinking about now? And they go, No one. <gasps> oh, no one's calling. <laughs> Your wife's like, I must be psychic, because there I was thinking you're a tosser, and it turns out you fucking are. <laughs> Do you think Moses was at a party once, you know, and he said, I've been up the mountain, the Lord gave me these commandments, and he said, upon to me, and his wife went, no, he fucking never. <laughs> <laughs> you know how he gets. <laughs> Burning bush. <laughs> oh, shit. Anyway, I can't see my wife on a parade. After two minutes, she'd be hanging on to me, going, oh, Lee, I'm not walking another fucking step. These fucking shoes. 
Because she does that. My wife would buy some shoes, but not normal ones. You wear on your feet. Oh, no, 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 no. That's too fucking easy. <laughs> no, because the ones she buys, no, 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 they're special, much more trendy. Because the ones she buys, you don't wear on your feet. You take off halfway through the night and end up holding your hand. Do you know them fuckers? <laughs> if we're going out for the night, right, we leave our house and she'll have her shoes on her feet where they're fucking meant to be. She'd go like, oh, I love these fucking shoes. I love these shoes. <laughs> fucking love these shoes, Lee. As the night progresses, you'll see it go like, oh, I love these fucking shoes. All oh, these fucking shoes. <laughs> Shoes. No! <laughs> I'm looking at her feet going, oh, trendy, blisters. <laughs> I'd rather she just took them shoes off. Because whenever she keeps them on all night, something really weird happens. Has your wife ever done that? She's had those shoes on all night. We get indoors, right? She'd disappear off into the bedroom to take those shoes off. And suddenly, you can hear all these sounds of ecstasy coming out the bedroom. All you can hear is this. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Oh, that feels so good. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, just there. Oh, yeah. I'm standing in there hallway. Who the fuck? <laughs> Who's sitting with my wife? He's in that room with my wife. <laughs> and here's the freaky Let's bit. When she go. reappears out of that bedroom, it's a completely different woman. Why is it with women when they get in from a night out? That really glamorous person I was with seconds ago <laughs> is now wearing an old baggy tracksuit. Oh, no! It makes her look like she shit herself. <laughs> a pair of old slippers, a house car, no fucking makeup. She walk out that bedroom going like that. <laughs> She's an ogre. That is a fucking top night, Lily. <laughs> Completely different vibe, bro. Uh, go on, you've got to admit it, that was a fucking top night. I'm standing there. Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? She went in that bedroom looking like Winona Ryder. She come out looking like fucking Sean Ryder. <laughs> that would have topped that one, Chitley. Her behaviour changes as well. Five minutes ago, we was in the car having a sophisticated conversation. Now she's on the couch, a mouthful of chocolate. Do you want the quality <laughs> Here, yeah, do these trousers make me look like I've shit myself? <laughs> Be honest. Yo, this guy is funny, bro. Here, yeah, I've just finished that book, Fifty Shades of Grey. Do you fancy an early night? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Keeps telling me where she's going. Keeps telling me where she's going. She's just nipping up the shots, just popping up the toilet, nipping, fucking popping everywhere she is. <laughs> Women have their own timing dimension and no other fucker knows. What's a nip? What the fuck's a pop? Is a nip faster than a pop? You know, is that a nip? And that's a pop. I wish they'd tell us, because my wife does it all the time. We'd be driving through the ice street, she just gets out of the car and fucks off, I'm just nipping in here. Don't be fucking nipping anywhere! I'm gonna be double in the line here. What am I gonna tell the traffic when she starts nipping out a ticket and popping on me fucking windscreen? Hold on, hold on, what's, what's, what's nipping? Are you in the line here? What am I going to tell the traffic when she starts nipping out a ticket and popping on me fucking windscreen? <laughs> and you say something, just fucking try to say something to your wife about her shoes. Why do you wear shoes that uh? Your wife ever do that? They turn to you and they go like, well, this is it. Uh. <laughs> you know they do that shit impression of you, you know? You take a wrong turn in the car and you go, oh, we're lost. And she go like, we're lost, Toby, we're lost. <laughs> we're lost. I want to go this way, but now you, 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 I'm going to go this way. <laughs> You ask your wife, who the fuck's that? They go, that's you, that's not me, that. You would never have married me if that was me if I walked up to you and went, do you fancy going out for the <laughs> Mind you, mind you, oh, they haven't heard that shit impression it's of them, have they? Hold on, hold on, it's lag for a period of time. Okay, 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 okay. Mind you, mind you, they haven't heard that shit impression of them, have they? Slightly higher voice, like you've been sucking on helium, you're getting hamster hands. Hey, the second tennis! <laughs> Why do you have shit impressions of each other? If you was actually like that, no fucker would talk to you if you was out. Right, right, right. You know if you was at a party and your wife went, this is me, you Hey, I can fucking meet you! <laughs> getting lost is the worst thing in the world, especially if you're with your wife. That's the nightmare. 
you know, you. if you get lost with your wife, you know it's going to turn into a nightmare. You know, because you know when you hand your wife the map, you think she's going to turn into the Lombard Rally. You know, put a helmet on, some goggles, and go like, go, go, left, right, stay ahead. <laughs> but they don't. You hand your wife the map in the car, and she go like, where are we now? That's why I give you the fucking map. Yeah, this guy's good. <laughs> Lost <laughs> Christopher fucking Columbus. <laughs> oh shit. Anyway, we don't need doctors in our house. Nah. See a penny, pick it up all day long, you'll have good luck. I don't know what that means. It's just a saying. My wife keeps coming out of these sayings. I think they're from the ancient book of old wives' bollocks, I think. Yeah. <laughs> you start coming down with anything like a cold in our house, she turns into the village sorcerer. I'm serious, you sneeze once in our house. Ah, two! Oh, starve a cold, feed the flu. <laughs> what the fuck is she talking about? She should be one of those pointy ass with the bell on the end playing a flute and fucking hopping around the kitchen. Get the fuck out of here. You mention any health problem in our house, she turns into fucking Dumbledore. <laughs> I've got a bit of a sore throat, love. Oh, sit down thrice and row a boat, catch a stoat and this will clear your throat. <gasps> Yeah, this guy's great. The fuck are you talking about? That would stir a lot of confidence, wouldn't it? If you was in hospital just about to undergo open heart surgery and the surgeon was standing there with a clipboard going, don't worry, it's a relatively simple operation. All I have to do is fly a bat, hither and back, this will cure your cardiac. <laughs> <laughs> You ever played Spot the Difference with your wife? It's fantastic. She goes out, gets her hair done, comes back in and goes like, ah, da da! Bruh, You're standing what? there now, I know this one. <laughs> She's like, oh, fuck you. <laughs> You're like, no, no, I got it earlier, you had a really happy face, now you got a fucked off one. <laughs> and my wife, my wife will start to sing her sentences when she's angry, that's fucking weird. You say you're gonna do something, she'd go, I wouldn't if I were you. <laughs> you ever tried singing back? Why the fuck not? <laughs> Turns into a couple of opera singers having a go at each other in the kitchen. <laughs> I'm just saying that's uh -oh. Yeah, and I'm just fucking asking. <laughs> and I can't understand my wife sometimes. They reckon their key to a long marriage is communication. So why is it women, women will insist on reading a letter to you out loud, but without telling you anything that's fucking in it? Your wife ever done that? They'll open an envelope right in front of you and they go like, oh, listen, 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 listen. <laughs> you know, then they start reading only the scary words. They go like, uh, fixed penalty. Oh, shit. Uh, receive fine. Uh, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Prison. Make you know, it, you try and butt in, what for, what for? Hell. They're going, don't butt in, otherwise you're not going to understand it, are you? <laughs> and I can't remember anything anymore, and it's losing me all the battles in our house. My wife can even tell me my own memory just by saying, I did tell you, Lee. And I just believe her, cos I can't fucking remember. Facts! She just said to me, you don't even remember what you forgot, do you? What the fuck did you just say then? She's like, oh, forget it. <laughs> I just did, don't you remember? I can't remember anything. I have to turn to my wife for everything these days. We'd be in the supermarket, right? And the woman behind the counter would go, do you have a loyalty card? I look straight to my wife, go, like, no loyalty card. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Somebody will say to me, Lee, can you answer anything by yourself? I look straight to my wife, can I answer anything by myself? <laughs> no, no. Oh, yeah. Sir. Oh, yeah. Women think they have special powers. Oh, they believe they have. They believe they can read your mind. <laughs> have you ever been going out for the night and your wife or your girlfriend are just walk in a room, right? She'd just walk in and go, da da, what do you think? Before you can say anything, they go, you don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> the same power. They think we can read their minds. My wife would just walk in a room and go, oh, what was I going to say to you? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what you're going to say. 
That's from me, Jelly Bean. Yeah, love, I got it fucking written down. <laughs> oh, yeah, they've got fucking loads of them. Loads of special powers. They have. It's like you ever been... Like, that's the thing. Your wife or your girlfriend ever turned into a clairvoyant? That's brilliant. You'll have a row with her in a room, and if you storm out of that room, they start doing a running commentary on what you're doing. I'm <laughs> seeing you go out. Fuck you! As <laughs> soon as you've left the room... Oh, there you go. on, leave the fucking room. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. Is this guy still? And then she starts to... Is this guy still doing comedy? This guy's hilarious, bro. My wife says she read my mind once. She said it was a short book. It didn't make any sense. Say stuff before you're even doing it. <laughs> That's it. Sit in the kitchen. You sit there for two hours, and you come in in a minute, and you try and talk, but I won't fucking talk to him. Why? <laughs> 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 Do you know what I'm gonna do? <laughs> they got loads, they got loads of special powers. You ever had this one? You'll be at a party and your wife wants to leave, she'll start doing this to you across the room. <laughs> what the fuck's that? What's that they're giving you? The bare knots. <laughs> 11 to 1, Kempton, really well on the horse. <laughs> See, what that is, that's the prearranged signal, right, that they didn't actually pre a fucking range with you. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to just get it. Oh, no, women never take a coat out. No, no, no. They don't need one. No, they've already got one. It's lovely and warm. I should know. It's called fucking mine. <laughs> Cos you know when you're out and they start doing all that shit, you know? Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck, do you want me coat, love? <laughs> and they're going to their Titanic Kate Winslet on a piece of driftwood routine. <gasps> No, I'll be all right. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, love, that'd be coat. You know the one I brought out for me to keep me? Fucking warm! <laughs> That's why I don't like going to restaurants with my wife. Have you ever had your wife nick your chips off your plate? F you be in a restaurant with your wife, she orders the Gwyneth Paltrow Biafro fucking skinny salad, and you order the chips. Worst thing she can say, oh, this is nice, taste that. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I know oh, what you're I doing. I see what's fucking happening here. <laughs> Let's go. Because next thing it'll be, what's yours like? Oh, fuck, do you want a chip? <laughs> and once she starts, that's it. Wave goodbye to them fucking chips, mate. It turns into trying to eat your chips on the end of the pier at the seaside while fending off freaking seagulls. <laughs> She's on the other side of the table going, Aah! Oh, shit. She goes, do you think them chips are fattening? Not for me, I didn't fucking have any, did I? <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, she ain't them all. <laughs> See, I think my wife is trying to kill me. I really do. We'd be in a restaurant, she'd go, here, I think that chicken's off. Taste that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you can have the trots, I'm not fucking getting them. <laughs> Mrs. fucking Ebola, I ask. Yo, that was dope as hell. Definitely going to have to check out more of the homie Lee Evans. Yo, this was hilarious, bro. This was hilarious. He's been in movies, too. He was in Fifth Element. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Who thinks this functional should put what you mean, Jelly Bean, on a T-shirt? Yes, sir, yes, sir. Yes, I would buy it. Yeah, this was hilarious. He's been in movies, too. I think, but he may have stepped away for a minute. Hold on, I gotta catch up on this chat, bro. I gotta catch up on this chat. <laughs>